Are you considering a move to the Linthicum area or maybe Linthicum Heights? And honestly, they're the same thing. If so, then this video is for you. Stay tuned to hear about the pros and the cons. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Audrey Rozier, your Central Maryland Realtor. In today's video, I wanted to talk about a few different pros and cons of living in Linthicum. First and foremost, let's start this video off with some information about Linthicum. When I think Linthicum, I think Linthicum is a quiet place for the most part. It is considered a suburb of Anne Arundel County and has a population of about 10,000 or so people. Its surrounding towns are Glen Burnie, Ferndale, Brooklyn Park, Hanover, and Arbutus. It also has an A- rating with niche as well. First up, let's start with a pro. The crime in Linthicum is relatively low. According to Niche, Linthicum has a B overall crime grade. The crime seems to be slightly lower than the average US city and lower than the towns that surround it. On average, a crime occurs every one day in 16 hours. The majority of crimes that happen also are property crimes. Moving on to a con. So, Linthicum is a relatively expensive area to live in. According to Niche, the median rent price is a little over $1,500, which is almost $500 over the national average. The median home value is a little over $305,000, which is higher than the national average of a little more than $217,000. The majority of residents in Lithicum are also homeowners, which make up about 82% of the population, and renters make up the other 18%. This is actually very nice from a standpoint of the majority of people are building equity by being homeowners. Another pro is that Linthicum is pretty convenient to local highways and of course not to mention our local BWI airport. The only downside to that is that the airport noise is a little bit of a thing and planes come and go at all hours of the day and night. There's also a local light rail station and the area has several public transportation routes. It makes traveling really easy for anyone that lives there. One other con to this pro is that Linthicum doesn't really have its own local grocery store. So folks are having to travel to nearby towns to get their groceries, and for that, you may need a vehicle or some other means of transporting the goods that you purchase. According to walkscore.com, Linthicum has a walk score of 47, and most errands require a car. We'll do another pro, since that last one was kind of a pro and a con at the same time. According to Niche, the public schools in Linthicum are rated at a B- and are considered to be above average. They have several public schools that rank at a B level and above, and Linthicum is also rated as a B plus as being great for families. Lastly, the final thing that I wanted to touch on is the air quality. According to Plume Labs, Linthicum has a pretty good air quality with a rating of 25. With the highest being at 500, that seems pretty good. The higher the number, the worse the air quality. So again, that's pretty good. If you stuck around until the end, I thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you found this information helpful, then please let me know down in the comment section below. All of the resources that I use to conduct this research will be down in the description below as well. Of course, if you are interested in moving to the area and want my honest opinion on whether or not it would be a good fit for you, feel free to schedule some time on my calendar. My Calendly link will be below as well. Thank you so much again for taking the time to watch this video and I will see you on the next one.